Reason 640K, Why I Hate Windows 10. This video was taken, I believe, back in August when I had a uh, service call to set up a new Windows 10 machine for somebody. Uh, I had dealt with Windows 10 before, but this is one of the later revisions of it. And uh, I started it up, and this is what I got. Yes. Your keyboard is set to U.S. Want to stick with that? Yes. Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you have to accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. Do you accept? That's why I gave up on Windows 10. Now, first of all, if a computer is going to talk to me out of the box, that's an immediate no-go. I didn't ask for that. I didn't want that. I, I don't want anything to do with that bullshit because there's no reason that my computer needs to talk to me. The worst part is the colloquialism that Cortana uses. That is simply not acceptable. Windows was originally created as business software and when you have it say to you you can also click no but then you know no windows what the fuck what the living fuck you you can't have the thing just say to you in a normal tone of voice you can also decline but if you do then you won't be able to run windows is there a problem with plain fucking english People don't understand it. I'm sure people that don't natively speak English would have more of a problem with colloquialisms than actual plain English. So that's another big no-no. And as far as I'm concerned, Windows 10 can fuck right off. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.